All right, welcome back guys. It's time to learn our very first concept in Node.js that we are going to be making use of a lot. Let's talk, let's start by talking a bit about functions. <coughs> Excuse me. Now create a new file and save it as app.js. Now we have seen functions in JavaScript such as, let's say we have a new function called function print stuff it takes stuff as a parameter and then let's just type console.log stuff now of course we're going to call print stuff sorry so print stuff let's pass hello world so all we have done is create a function called print stuff which takes a parameter that is going to be logged onto our console. So save it and open command prompt and type node app.js. Now this types hello world. So nothing new here, right? Well guess what? In JavaScript we can also pass functions as arguments to other functions. So let's say we have another function called main function. Now this main function can take another function as a parameter and it can also take some value. Now we can call this function which was passed in our main function. So another function and we can use the value because it is local to this function now. So, so now instead of having to call print stuff hello world, we can call main function and pass print stuff and then hello world. Okay, let's just say hello. So copy, uh, sorry, semicolon, remove this print stuff, save it. Now if you run node app.js, it says hello. Now how does this work? So we have the execution begins by calling the main function. Now we are going to use this print stuff as another function which we are passing as a parameter and this hello is going to be our value. So another function of value is going to get translated into print stuff with hello as the parameter. So since we're calling print stuff, it goes to this function and then logs, logs the string hello onto our console. Pretty cool, right? Now here's the new thing. In JavaScript, it is also possible to assign a function to variables. So instead of having function print stuff, print stuff we can have a variable called print stuff and we can assign to this variable a function that takes st stuff as a parameter and then console.log stuff now if you remove this function print stuff save it let's just change hello to world save it once again now if you type node app.js we get the output world so in javascript it is possible to have a function that doesn't have a name but we can assign it to a variable and this function that doesn't have a name is called an anonymous function and please remember this because this is going to be used a lot in node.js in node.js we can also pass an inter anonymous function as a parameter. So instead of having to create an anonymous function, assign it to a variable and then pass that variable uh, to our main function, we can do we can, we can just do this. So we have our function, copy it and replace print stuff with that. So we have our main function. Let me just pull it all into one line so that it's it's a bit more easier to understand 
So instead of having to call a variable, we have actually defined the entire function as a parameter to our main function. So what happens now again is that this world is going to be passed as stuff over here and then that is going to be logged on to our console. So if we change it to Jotmon and let's just remove variable print stuff go ahead and save it and if you run it we get Jotmon. Pretty great right? So just to recollect in Node.js or JavaScript it is possible to pass a function as an argument to another function. It's also possible to have functions that have no names and they're called anonymous functions. And it is also possible to pass anonymous functions, sorry, it, can, it is also possible to define an anonymous function as a parameter to another function. So that's pretty much our, our very first concept. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.